really wanted to work hard and wanted to create a secure future for the family. And yeah, just I felt like I was climbing this mountain, uh, trying to get up to the top and was just never really feeling that I got any closer at any point in time. When I was at school I heard about Jesus and learned a bit about Jesus in scripture classes etc. My wife Judy, she was uh, very much into Jesus and knew a lot about the Bible and that kind of piqued my interest. I knew quite a bit about it from just listening to her. Um, but it was really only when I got a blood clot that I really got to understand my own mortality and it frightened me. While I was in hospital, the pastor and leaders from Judy's church came to visit me and I've got a lot of comfort and peace from listening to their stories and they explained to me a little bit more about the Bible, and Jesus and God and through listening to that and doing one-on-one -on -one Bible study with a pastor, we went through the book of Mark and that was just very encouraging to me and gave me a good sense that there was something after this life. I've really come to realize that I can't just rely on myself any longer and in fact I don't want to rely on myself. Now I want to rely on something a little bit bigger and greater than I am and I'm quite happy to do that. So I'm giving up my worries, trying to be less anxious and it's difficult but I find one of the things that helps is to actually think about praying, reading the Bible, trying to do that as frequently as possible. You can always do more but just really constantly trying to be almost what Jesus is, the, the servant to God and helping out with where I can in the church and that fills me with a lot of peace and comfort.